you want to record a band at a live show to practice mixing on later? Or do you want to still be able to run the sound check even though the band is running late to sound check? You need Dante Virtual Sound Card. Dante Virtual Sound Card lets you turn your mixer into a sound card. You can then use it in conjunction with your DAW to record any audio out of the mixer. I've lived the horrors of setting up analog splits and taking looms to make a recording of a live show before, so I'm going to save you the hassle and I'm going to show you how to set up Dante Virtual Sound Card to make multi-track recordings of anything you want off of your Dante enabled mixer. Before we get started, check out my Dante cheat sheet, it's free and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Let's dive in. Before we get started, we need to know what equipment we need. That equipment needs to have some sort of Dante interface connected to it. Your mixer needs to have a Dante card installed in it. And also your laptop needs to have an ethernet port so that you can get a CAT cable and you can make a connection between your computer and the mixer. Now, it's helpful as well if your stage box that you're using with your mixer is Dante enabled, but it's not absolutely 100% necessary. And we'll talk about the routing of that later on in the video. You're going to need to install Dante Virtual Sound Card on your laptop or your computer, whatever you're using. That's really easy. You just type Dante Virtual Sound Card into Google or whatever, and it will take you to Audinate's website where you can get all the Dante software. When I Googled it, the top result took me to the page I needed, and you can just download and install it there. It is paid software, costs $50 at the time of filming this to get a perpetual license for one machine. Or you can also get a 14 day free trial, it's totally unlimited, doesn't restrict you in any way. And you can use that to check it out. So why not get that and then record a show, see if it works for you. And we're also going to need Dante controller to create the routing between the mixer and Dante Virtual Sound Card running on your computer. Again, just type that into Google, it will be the top result. Open that web page, download that software, Dante controller software is free. Let's say that we're using a Dante enabled stage box. We want to connect that to our mixer. So we need to get a CAD cable, go from the stage box to the mixer, and we want to connect to the primary port on both of these devices. Now we want to take our laptop or computer, and we want to connect our CAD cable from our computer to the secondary port of the mixer. You could also connect to the secondary port of the stage box if you want to. Now we want to set up Dante Virtual Sound Card, right? So you would install that software just like you install any software on your laptop and go down and open that up. Let's do that now. When Dante Virtual Sound Card opens up, then you're going to be on this settings page, right? And you need to pick your audio interface. Uh, on Windows, I recommend using ASIO and on Mac, it will say core audio. You can click the options here to change the buffer size, which is going to affect your latency, as well as the encoding, 24-bit, 32-bit, 16-bit, same as any sort of digital audio. And also you can select the latency for this section of it. Below that, you can select the number of channels that you're going to enable on Dante Virtual Sound Card. Right, And so this is directly corresponding to what type of sound card we're turning your mixer into. If we selected 2x2, two two, right, that's like a Focusrite 2i2. It's got two microphone inputs and two outputs. If we selected a higher number, like 16, that's the equivalent to having 16 microphone inputs, so like two Focusrite 18i 20s, 16 inputs, 16 outputs. Below that, you can also select the Dante latency. That is the latency of the Dante network. You can choose these things. If you set the latency higher, you will have a more stable network. The more channels that you enable, the higher latency you're going to experience. Below that, you can select the network interface. This is where you have plugged your CAT cable into your computer. You might have multiple ethernet ports on your computer and this allows you to pick which one you are using. You unfortunately cannot use Wi-Fi with Dante networks, so Wi-Fi networks won't appear. Below that, network status and IP address will give you that information when you're connected to a network. On the next tab, licensing. This is where you can enter your license code that you get when you purchase the software or your free trial license. You also have an ability to lock your device so no one else can control it from Dante controller. And we'll skip over domains and about for now. When you're ready to go, you've selected how many channels you want to use, you simply press start. It will gray out the options that you can no longer change and Dante Virtual Sound Card is running. This is the equivalent now of you connecting your sound card to your laptop, except your sound card is the Dante network. After that, you'll want to open up your DAW to configure the input settings. Once you open your DAW, you need to configure the Dante network, Dante Virtual Sound Card, to act as your sound card. 
So just like if you connected a USB sound card to your computer, you would need to open up your audio preferences and choose that sound card as the input device for your computer. So that when you connect a microphone to your sound card, it comes into your DAW on channel one or two. We need to tell the computer that the Dante network, the Dante card on the mixer is our sound card. So when we connect a microphone to the Dante network, that's what we want to see in our DAW. So we open up our preferences, It'll look different on whatever DAW you are using. You'll need to know that yourself or look up the manual. But then it's saying here, ASIO is the system. If you remember, we configured that using Dante Virtual Sound Card. And then currently it's set to USB focus, right? Because that's what I'm using in my studio here. But you can see I can change that to Dante Virtual Sound Card. Once I select that, this is in Reaper anyway, I can define the first and last inputs. If you remember, I set my Dante Virtual Sound Card to be eight by eight. That is why I can only see inputs one through eight here. If you had set this to 64 by 64, you would be able to choose 64 channels of input. Once I've done that, I can create a new track and I can select the input device to be any one of my Dante channels here. So I can receive sound into my DAW from my Dante channels. Similarly, if I want to configure my outputs, you can see I can set my outputs to also be my Dante channels. So now Dante Virtual Sound Card is set up and ready to use on our DAW. Right? We can pick the Dante channels as inputs and we can set the Dante channels as outputs. If we wanted to record eight channels of a show, we would just create eight channels here, you know, and we would set our inputs to Dante 1, Dante 2, Dante 3, and so on. Now we need to get the sound from the mixer or from the stage box, from the venue, into our computer, into Dante Virtual Sound Card, right? This is the equivalent of running an XLR cable from a microphone splitter into your sound card at your computer. So let's open up Dante Controller. You will see Dante Virtual Sound Card appear with the name of your computer. So if you call your computer My PC, it's going to turn up My PC in Dante. You'll also see this Dante card mounted in your mixer, and you will also see the Dante enabled stage box here. The easiest way to record a show is to take the microphone signals straight from the stage box into your Dante Virtual Sound Card into your DAW. You look at this top section which says transmitters, right? And you find the stage box and then you click the plus sign and that's gonna spell out the stage box channels to you. And then you're going to look to receivers and you're going to find Dante Virtual Sound Card, which will be the name of your computer, my PC, let's call it. And then you click the plus button and that will spell out the receiver channels. That is the input channels on your computer on Dante Virtual Sound Card. Now you can just click to create a connection at the points where the channels of the stage box cross over with the channels of Dante Virtual Sound Card. So you are now routing microphone input one on that stage box to Dante Virtual Sound Card input one, so input one in your DAW. And you just do that one, two, three, four, as many channels as you have. You've created a link from the stage box straight into your computer. What if you don't have a Dante enabled stage box? We can still do this as long as we have a Dante card on our mixer. What we need to do is we need to configure direct outs on the mixer to be sent to the Dante card. So you would select the channels on your mixer that you want to send to Dante Virtual Sound Card. And you would go to the direct out section of those channels. You would make sure that direct out is turned on, turned up if that's an option on your mixer. And then you would set the output, the direct out of that channel to be the Dante card or the Dante port on your mixer. So the tricky thing here is that you need to know that the Dante card is mounted in a slot on your mixer, right? So you're probably not going to see Dante as an option for the output of your direct out. What you will see is IO port, card, slot, Dante patch. These are all the names that are used by different manufacturers, you know. But basically you choose channel one and you route that to output one on the card or the output port. And if you don't know, direct out just takes a copy of the signal and sends it straight out of the mixer again. Now you just open up Dante controller and you go back to this patch screen. And instead of using the stage box as a transmitter, you find your card on your mixer. You click the plus button. This is in the transmitter section. And then you click the plus button on the receiver section for my PC. And then you create these connections between the card outputs and the inputs on your PC. So in this example, sound is coming into your mixer via uh, another stage box of some kind. And then your mixer is configuring a split of that sound and sending it to the Dante card. And then the Dante card is being routed through your Dante network into the inputs of your DAW. 
So you've recorded a sound check, you've recorded a show, the band's late for the next show, you want to run a sound check. What you need to do is you need to configure the outputs of your DAW to go to your Dante card, and then you need to get the Dante card to send that to your mixer channels. We open up our DAW first of all, and we make sure that track one is rooted out of Dante one. Track two is rooted out of Dante two. Track three is out of Dante three. Make sure that you turn off your master bus because it might already be rooted to Dante one and two, and then you end up doubling up. After you've done that, we open up Dante controller. On the transmitter section, we're going to click the plus sign over my PC your Dante virtual sound card. And then we're going to click the plus button on the receiver section over the Dante card on your mixer. So that'll be whatever it's called. Now you create the connections here and you're connecting the output of your DAW to the input of the Dante card on the mixer. All that's left to do after that point is to pick some channels on the mixer where you want to return this mix. So let's start at channel one. Pick channel one and select the input for that channel to be your Dante card. Pick channel two, set the input for that channel to be Dante card number two. What's happening here is the sound is coming from your DAW to the Dante card and then from the Dante card to the input channel of the mixer. What if you just want to record a stereo out of your mixer to capture the mix that you did at a show? Or what if you're using your mixer to mix down something after a show? Same principles. You create a stereo input channel on your DAW, right? Two channels here. You'd arm them for recording and you would set the input to be let's say Dante 7 and Dante 8. You would then go to your mixer and you would go to the routing section and you would route a copy of your master output to Dante card 7 and 8. Then you would open up Dante controller. This time you would click to expand the mixer card on your transmitter section and you would expand your receiver section for your my PC. And then you would connect mixer outputs seven and eight, so the card or seven and eight to your DAW seven and eight. And what that's doing now is that means that your master mix is going not just to the speakers, but it's also going Dante seven and eight, and your DAW is picking up Dante seven and eight and allowing you to record that show or that mix into your DAW again. If this is overwhelming, here's a video to routing on an Allen and Heath mixer. If you're struggling to get the network set up, then check out this video on basic networking for audio. Subscribe to the channel if this was helpful and like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.